Moving on now to string operations. And these are some other powerful things we can do with strings that are built into Python. We saw this table um, at the Python uh, documentation site. And we can use all of these things on strings. So some examples over here on the right. My string, we're sending it to a value of hello. If we do a min, which we see over here, min of string, it's the smallest item of S, smallest item of the string, which is alphabetical. So the lowest alphabetical uh, character in my string is E in this case, as we've called min on my string. E is the, the, the lowest, if you will, value in the alphabet of that string. The max value in that string hello is O. The length of my string is five characters. One, two, three, four, five. And we see over here that's what that's what the length does. Uh, we can count the number of occurrences of a character. My string dot count that returns two letter L's. We can multiply our string by itself. My string times two is hello, hello. It creates a new string there. And we can also see if a character is in my string. Is the letter H in my string? That is true. Again, we'll get more into Booleans, this true or false value later on in the course. So don't worry about that too much right now. But I just wanted to show you there's a lot of these operations. I wanted to make sure you're aware that they exist so you're not trying to uh, write these functions yourself, these methods and operations on strings. They can be extremely useful and you need to be aware of, of many of them. Uh, more, the more you learn about them, the better.